I've just got the Insta360 Go 1 on here. This is my new Cine Ape from Darwin FPV. Um, I really like this build. You know, it's budget, but everything is pretty damn good on it. Carbon fiber is not amazing, but it seems pretty good. Decent motors, uh, nice little stack layout. The only thing is they haven't secured this uh, very well, so just got to be careful. And then I've got some nice 4S batteries. These brand new 750 milliamp hour Outlaw batteries, which is actually the drone group I'm part of. Uh, a guy by the name of Heno has uh, organized these um, like a local, I, I don't know what he did, but he's obviously got someone to manufacture them and put our sticker on it. It's very cool. It's a very budget setup. I have my trusty Radio Master here, the TX12. My goggles are probably the, these are probably the best you can get for the price. Um, the Sky Zone Cobra. This is the SD version, the lower spec version. Yeah, so let's go for a flight. Oh wow, this is so much more controlled than my baby ape. A lot noisier, but I would say as whoops goes, not too bad. So I've got to give a lot more throttle to kind of glide through those gaps. Yeah, so it just takes a lot more um, throttle to kind of get what you want out of it compared to my 3 inch 3S. This is a 4S Cine Whoop. So I fly this and I have a little X-Frame uh, 3S which has got the same configuration as my Baby Ape. I just copied the kind of layout of the Baby Ape and put it on an X-Frame. So I've got that and I've got a Baby Ape. And those two drones are like very twitchy and you get a lot more out of your throttle. Here I've got to really give it a lot, but I've got, I've got more control here. I've got more smooth control here. Bloody hell. It's not, it's not a bad... I've got the dipole antenna and uh, I'm not getting a lot of breakup. Um, it, it is running at 600 watts, which is a little bit overkill for here. Uh, I think the 600 watts is trying the battery a little bit. Like you want to get that perfect balance of what your wattage is on your VTX for where you're flying because it is using more battery the more wattage you send out of that. Bloody hell this is smooth. Okay now I know why people keep increasing their battery sizes and that because this is so freaking nice. Oh it's really in the grass here. Yeah? I can hear it but I can't see it. That's not a good sign. It flies nicely man. Uh, I think 750 batteries is a little bit small for this. Cause that wasn't a very long flight. Yeah, bit of a bummer on that, but there's a like hectic wind as well. So I think what I'll do is I will drop, drop the wattage of the VTX for park flights so that I can get a little bit more battery life. And I, I've, you know, I, that's why I, I hate some of these reviewers on YouTube because, um, you know, I watched guys fly this with a GoPro, like a full size GoPro. And they don't do any disclaimer, like this is not meant for this or anything. And it really isn't meant for that. Like, this will not cope with a full-size GoPro. Um, there, like it will cope, but you're going to get like such a little bit of battery um, life out of this thing, and the flight is going to suck. Like it's not going to fly nicely. So I wish they would just say that, you know. This is really nice, and it's safe to fly around people and all that. Um, and because it's a little bit slower and smoother, you know, it's. Okay, so here's the thing. I'm not a very good pilot. I'm flying a lot better than I do with my baby ape. Um, or should I say I can control it a lot better. So I must say, for people who aren't... Uh, there's a chap on the group who... He just flies these little whoops because he's not into... Like, I, I think he flies in angle mode all the time. And he's not into all this freestyle FPV. So if you are someone who just wants to fly around the park, uh, or you're a beginner, a little whoop like this is flipping nice. Um, see, my baby ape is nice because it's cheap. So the reason I like motivate that as a nice drone for people to buy is because it's so flipping cheap to run. You know, you can run it on 2S without a camera, 3S with a little camera, and uh, you're getting a real sort of freestyler vibe. Uh, without spending all the money on a five inch drone. Bloody hell, this is nice. I really like it. Okay, I'm getting like two minutes of flight time, but that's that's the wind. So I would say, because I think this can handle a bigger battery, I was just conservative because it's a new drone. So I didn't want to go too, um, too heavy, but I think a thousand milliamp hour, I know um, Heno's got 1100. I think I said to him, I think I'm gonna buy some 1100s. I think this, with the tiny camera, 
on 1100s i'm going to get a decent amount of flight time and they like for cinematic flights for cinematic flight the 1100 would be nice because it's going to weigh it down a bit more you know so now with a little bit more aggressive flights i'm getting quite a lot of breakup with this dipole vtx um, you know at 600 watts i shouldn't be getting this much breakup so these dipoles really do suck so i'm just going to order some nice because it's the pigtail the ipex connector which i hate but anyway so i just got to buy a couple of those because my baby ape also needs a new v uh, antenna it's so nice cool so maiden flight with the cine ape um you know like i said i'm not the best pilot but um, i've got a little bit of experience now with my little uh, baby ape and i would say that this is a very nice upgrade if you are a beginner and you've been flying something like a baby ape um, the other nice thing about a cine whoop as opposed to sort of a more freestyle style drone is the fact that uh, you've got more control it flies a little bit slower so it's very nice for for video footage and it's very nice just as a beginner so um, i would say if you're a beginner and you've got a little bit more more money than a, than sort of the cine ape uh, the, the baby ape range I definitely would recommend this because it's this is a lot easier to fly like it just is 